Ready to migrate from WordPress to Shopify but don't know where to start? Well, you're in the right place. I've personally completed this migration multiple times and I'm about to show you the streamlined process that actually works. And I'll show you how I converted this WordPress website into Shopify using this method. And most people approach this migration completely wrong. They think it's either gonna cost them thousands of dollars in developer fees or they assume they have to rebuild their entire site from scratch and lose everything. Now, I'm gonna show you my step-by-step -step system for transferring everything. You're completely product catalog, the customer database, the order history, your reviews, all of it moves over smoothly without any data loss. So if you're ready to finally make that happen, let's dive right in. All right, so the first thing we need to do is make sure we are logged into our WordPress dashboard. As you can see, this is the dashboard of my website. And if I look at the homepage, this is how it looks like. It is a template site and I will use this as a demo site, which we're gonna transfer to Shopify. There are a bunch of products on here as well. If we go to products, you can see all these products and I will show you how to migrate all of these data points to our new store. Then next, we also need to make our Shopify account. And if you don't have a Shopify account already, you're gonna net. And if you don't have a Shopify account already, I've got the link in the description below that will give you access to three months of Shopify for just $1 per month. So use that link and it really helps support the channel and gets you a better deal. As you can see, I just created an account and don't worry about adding any products yet or designing anything that will all be managed during the migration. This is the dashboard on Shopify. Then next, we're gonna use a tool called cart to cart And this is hands down the best migration tool I've found for moving stores between different sites. So go to this website, cart 2 cartcom I'll leave a link down in the description as well. And once you're there, we can enter in the correct migration information. So we are gonna migrate from WooCommerce on WordPress. And here we're gonna select Shopify. And then we click on free demo now and we fill in our email address. Then we make sure the box is ticked and we click on try free demo now again. Then it's gonna ask the role. So we select store owner, but obviously if you are an agency or freelancer, click on those. I will select the first one. And from here we have three options. We can either follow the migration wizard. We can let the team assist us by doing a migration or we can calculate our prices. Now I'll show you how to do that later as well. I'm gonna show you how to do this transfer yourself. So we click on start free demo where we can complete the demo. As you can see, there are basically four steps. The first step is connecting our source store, which will be WordPress through WooCommerce. Then we have to link our uh, target store which will be our Shopify store then we need to select all the entities so our products our customers everything we want to transfer and from there we will continue with the tutorial let's first focus on connecting with WooCommerce and there are basically three ways we can do that and the first way is by logging into our account and there are basically three ways we can do that we can either log in with our information right here we can install the add-on from the marketplace on WooCommerce and there are basically three ways we can do that we can either log in with our admin information information right here. We can install an add-on uh, from the marketplace on WordPress, or we can manually upload a connection bridge. Now, now logging in right here has caused me issues every time. What I would recommend and do all the time is installing the add-on from the marketplace. So what I would recommend you to do is simply click download for WooCommerce. Now it's gonna download a zip file right here on your PC. And from here, we want to add our WordPress admin URL. So that's simply our normal URL. And we want to type in slash and then slash again. And now we want to upload the app. So go back to your WordPress dashboard. Then we want to find plugins right here at the bottom left. And we want to click add plugin. And then here we want to upload a plugin. And we simply want to drag this file in here, just like that. We want to click install now. There we go. Then we want to click activate plugin. And now the plugin has been installed. We can see it right here. We want to click on that. And now it's going to ask us to log in with your email and password. And you received your password through your email box. If I open my email box, as you can see, here is my email email and my password, which I will fill in right here. Then we click sign in. And then as we can see, we can see the migration that we're currently doing. So we click continue migration Then we select our URL source store. And then we click on the third option right here. There we go. And then we click on next step. And now it should make the link between cart to cart and the store, which it does. And now what we want to do is, which it does. So now what we want to do, we want to go back to the site of cart to cart. Here we want to click on next step as well. And now it should recognize the link and it does 
done, so that's really good. Now we hover over to step two, which is linking up with our Shopify store. For this again, we want to install the app. The easiest for this is simply opening up your store on Shopify on a new page, and then at the top, typing in cart to cart, and it will show up as an app. There we go. We want to click on that. We want to install this on Shopify. So we click install. Right here, we want to click install once again. And then right here, we want to click, I have a cart to cart account. And then the same way as with WordPress, we want to paste in our password and our email and we click sign in and connect. And now as we can see, the data migration shows here as well. We click on go to migration wizard and then it's gonna make the link with Shopify as well. We click on continue migration. There we go. Then we select the possible target URL store and we don't have a custom URL yet. So we just choose the default one and then we click on next step. And now it should recognize and it does. And now we can start choosing our entities. As we can see, we can choose products, we can do the customers, blogs. And as I said before, this right here is simply a demo site with some dummy information on there. So it's quite an empty site. If you would have a lot of products on here, a lot of data points, they would all be showing here. We could do 10 within this demo. So for this video, I'm gonna select the products. I'm also gonna select customers and the blogs. And then I'm gonna click next step. From here, we're gonna click next step as well. And now we can add some additional options. One of them, for example, is if you're using a Shopify store that's full of data, you can select this box and it says, it's gonna clear the data on the target store before migration. Now, as this is a brand new store anyway, there isn't anything on there, so that doesn't really make a difference. Then what they would recommend is selecting these three options right here, which is creating 301 redirects, migrating the store source categories into Shopify of automated collections. And this is basically making the transfer as smooth as possible from two different cards. The other ones are optional and not really necessary. Just go through them and base it on your own preference. Then we can start the demo migration. And this is not the full migration yet. The demo is first really important to make sure that the link and connection between our WordPress site and Shopify has been successful. And it seems like it is. It's now gonna transfer the products. Okay, it's almost done transferring everything. And there we go, it's now being completed and we can look at the details. Right here we can see the source IDs from our WordPress site and this will be all the links on our Shopify site. And as I showed you before, there are some products right here on um, the product section inside WordPress. And now to make sure that it works, let's actually take a look at them in Shopify. So I open Shopify, let's go to products right here and then they should show, which they do, all of them have been imported. We can click on one of them. The hand-picked red ch chilies. The images will be imported. The description, the pricing, the SKU, the shipping information, literally everything. So if you have lots of products, it's gonna save you so much time. Also, your, all your order history will be transferred as well. I don't think I have any orders, which I don't as it's a demo store. Everything would be transferred. Same with blog posts, same with coupons, reviews, pretty much everything on the back end. So I'm really happy with that. It went successful. So we can now start setting up the full migration. So we can click on the button down there. And then before we start a migration, they might ask you about an insurance plan. And this protects you against failed or corrupted migrations. For example, you can select the first one, one remigration in 14 days. Um, and this is just 9% extra cost. And I usually recommend this just for a peace of mind. Right here, you will see all the entities. As you can see on this side, there are just two pro 12 products, three categories, and all the other things. Again, if your site would be larger, all those things would show here. And then here we have some additional options as well. And down here we can see the pricing with a $25 discount if you use the link down below. Now you can go through those options to make it a little cheaper as well if you want. But usually for most stores are gonna be around this. Then once you're happy with the selection, you can click start full migration. You can do your payment through Shopify and then the team will do the entire migration the same way as the demo. Then once the transfer is complete, we now have all the data points of our store on WordPress on Shopify. However, this is all information on the back end, like your products. And Cart2Cart -to -cart does an amazing job transferring all your data. It doesn't migrate your storefront design. If we take a look at our storefront right here, we can probably see it's still really ugly. And it is, it's not built. The products have been added, but it doesn't look anything like our original site right here. This is because Shopify and WordPress use completely different template systems and design structures. So your homepage, the theme, the layout, the colors, the fonts, there's no way to automatically migrate these to a different website builder. And you basically have two options here. You can either 
actually rebuilt the entire site yourself inside Shopify with the team builder and basically designing everything from scratch. Now this can work if you have the time and the design skills, but it's pretty time consuming. But here's what I would actually recommend and what I do every single time. And it's going to Fiverr and hiring a Shopify designer clone your WordPress store design. I've done this multiple times and it's honestly the best option. You can simply search for something like WordPress to Shopify migration, then hit search and now you'll find tons of freelancers who specialize in exactly this, cloning a Shopify site into WordPress and the other way around. The typical cost ranges from about 50 to $100 for simple designs and up to maybe $300 for highly customized sites. I usually give them access as an editor inside my WordPress site for them to look at the designs and download and get all the necessary information and data points. I also add them as an editor on Shopify from where they can start making the design and making the front end pages. Then within a few days, I usually have a perfect replica of my original site that often looks better than the original. Okay, now that your data is all migrated and your design is created, Created, there are just a few things you'll still need to set up manually inside Shopify, but these are pretty straightforward. First, you need to configure your payment methods. You want to go to the settings down here at the left, then right here you want to go to payments, and just like on WooCommerce or on other e-commerce platforms, there is a built-in payment provider called Shopify Payments. This is a really solid payment provider, and there are a lot of payment options on here, and honestly what I would recommend. And next, we also have to set up our shipping options and rates, which we can do right here. Now, same thing with taxes and specific shipping rules you had on WordPress, you can all set it up here. Now, in this video, I'm not gonna dive too deep into these things, but there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube showing how to set it up. And honestly, it's not as different as WooCommerce. Then once everything is set up and tested on Shopify, you can cancel your WordPress hosting. But I always recommend keeping both stores running for at least a week or two while you make sure everything is working perfect on the Shopify side. And then that's pretty much it. You've successfully migrated your entire WordPress site to Shopify. The whole process from data migration to design recreation usually takes about a week if you hire someone to handle the design for you. Again, for all the software I use, I'll leave links down below in the description. And if you found this tutorial helpful, it will massively help the channel make these videos if you use those links with no extra cost to you. If you run into any issues, please let them know down in the comments below. If this helped you out, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.